Hello there, let's do some ear training to get you ready for your OET listening part C. And as it's coming up to the King's Coronation here in the UK, this is going to be a special connected to the coronation. What I'm trying to do in these little ear training videos is to help you get from the start to the correct answer. But what we're focusing on are these individual little steps that you need to go through in order to get the correct answer. And this video is going to be focusing on top down and bottom up skills. But what are top down and bottom up skills, you may be wondering. Well, it's a way that our brain processes information. So when we hear something, we use what's known as our top down skills to process some of that information. Top down is basically the information we already have in our brain. It's our understanding of the situation and what we know about it from past experience or things we've read or seen about that are similar in the past. Bottom up skills is the actual syntax, the grammar, the vocabulary, the tone of voice, for example. So it's the little bits that make up a sentence, a phrase, a situation. So top down is kind of the global impression and bottom up is the individual words or sounds or meanings. And our brain processes both these things at the same time and we work using top-down knowledge and bottom-up knowledge to get an understanding of things. In this video, we're just going to be focusing on top-down skills and how using this can help us get ready for the OET listening part C. I've worked on bottom-up skills before as well, so check out my previous videos, which include things like connected speech. But as I say, because we're coming up to the coronation, we're going to be focusing on the big help out in this video and a little bit of the science connected behind that. My name is Sona, I'm your online OET tutor with Bose Learning and I'm a premium preparation provider of the OET. Thank you for joining me today. So we're going to be listening to an interview with Dr. Zand, who's a famous British doctor. Um, he's a bit of a TV celebrity, actually. Um, and he's going to be talking about the big help out for the coronation this weekend. There's the coronation on Saturday, then there's a big party on Sunday, and then on Monday, the King has invited us to volunteer to help out and do some good in our local community. Help out means to help someone or something, especially by doing something in particular, giving them money perhaps, and it's the idea of volunteering. So we do something to help our community, to help the environment, to help make the world a better place. Before we listen, what I'd like you to do is to get your brain ready. Can you think what might you possibly hear in an interview with a doctor about helping out, what do you think the topics of conversation might be? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to anticipate what you think you might hear. Here we go. Okay, so just some ideas, something about volunteering, it could be about the health benefits of volunteering, it could be about improving our mental health, and maybe something about the community. Now, why am I asking you to anticipate? Why am I asking you to think about the context? The reason is it's so much easier to hear something if you are ready for it, if you are anticipating it. And this is a great skill to have in your OET. Always look at the context, always try and anticipate what you might possibly hear. You might not be right, but what you're doing is getting your brain ready to hear something connected to that. And it will therefore be so much easier for you to hear it. I'm hoping to prove this today with my um, with some exercises for you. So, as I say, we're going to be listening to Dr. Zand van Tuliken, and he's going to mention one of these things. Which benefit does he mention first? Let's take a listen. 
The purpose of life is to intertwine yourself with other people. We are deeply, deeply social animals. Okay, and it is, of course, community. And he says we are deeply, deeply social animals. And volunteering is an incredible way of doing that, of building this community, of being social. What does he mean by social animals? Well, of course, humans are animals and we are social. We being part of a community in our DNA. It's a deeply, we are very much rooted in this idea of being social and forming this community and volunteering really helps us do this. The purpose of life is to intertwine yourself with other people. We are deeply, deeply social animals. Again, let's do some more anticipating because this is going to help us to listen. And this time, according to Dr. Zahn, why does getting paid change our way of thinking? What can we predict? What can we anticipate? Again, don't spend too long thinking about this. You don't have the time in the exam. You've just got to start thinking really quickly. Getting paid, why does this change our way of thinking? What might the possible answers be? Maybe it's something connected to stress. Maybe it affects our mental health. Okay, let's see which one or if it was something completely different. Have a listen. And volunteering is an incredible way of doing that. When you're paid, it changes your experience of what you're doing. Even if you love your job, being paid in the back of your mind, that sort of gets into your head and you think, well, I might be fine and I need the money and all these other things. Volunteering, that stuff falls away. So it's, it's really, really uh, a tremendously valuable thing. And it, and it forges community. Okay. And the answer was B, we can never fully relax because we worry about being fired, because we need the money, and we think what might happen if we don't have this job. So getting paid changes our way of thinking when we do things. And volunteering is an incredible way of doing that. When you're paid, it changes your experience of what you're doing. Even if you love your job, being paid in the back of your mind, that sort of gets into your head and you think, well, I might be fired and I need the money and all these other things. Volunteering, that stuff falls away. So it's, it's really, really uh, a tremendously valuable thing. And it, and it forges community. Now note here that the OET will give you options like this and you've got to choose the correct one. But it's such a good idea to start predicting without even looking at these to begin with. So start thinking about what might come up, start anticipating, and then hopefully it's going to make it easier for you to hear the answers. We'll try one more together. What science does Dr. Zand mention? What can we anticipate? Have a think. Again, be very quick in your anticipation. You don't have much time. So train yourself to read the question. And as you're reading it, try and anticipate what you might hear. What science does Dr. Zand mention? Well, it could be something about health benefits, maybe socialising, feeling good about ourselves. Those are the kinds of things, the top down information that we have about volunteering and making us feel good. OK, let's listen. Kind of give you that high from doing nice things, whether it's going for a run or helping somebody. You've got an entire dopamine system in your brain that gives you pleasurable feelings. And so we do get that from volunteering. More than that, you are building a world around you which reduces your stress hormones. It's like you're in control. In OK, and this time it was option A where he says volunteering increases our dopamine levels in our brain. We have this reward system and he goes on to talk about it decreasing stress as well. Kind of give you that high from doing nice things, whether it's going for a run or helping somebody. You've got an entire dopamine system in your brain that gives you pleasurable feelings. And so we do get that from volunteering. More than that, you are building a world around you which reduces your stress hormones. It's like you're in control. In so hopefully this has shown you in a kind of non-OET way, but we're still training for the OET, how anticipating using our top-down knowledge helps you hear the answers better. So keep doing this. 
this, these kind of exercises, check out my other videos. I've got lots on listening, reading as well, which breaks down these skills like this. I've also got on-demand courses, which you can study in your own time. And I'm going to put in some discount codes for you so you can check that out in the information box below. And thank you very much for watching. I'd be so happy if you can help my channel grow by sending this to colleagues, subscribing, liking it, and why not drop me a comment as well. If you've got any questions, I'd be happy to hear from you. So feel free to get in touch. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.